This presentation will discuss the factors that affect lead-acid aircraft batteries and how full-time maintenance charging can dramatically extend battery life to help drive down the cost of flying. Aircraft batteries are very different from car, marine, or other general purpose batteries. Minimizing weight is a critical design factor. They must provide power for both cranking and emergency backup in the lightest package possible. Their lead storage plates are relatively thin and more easily damaged from improper charging. Their electrolyte chemistry is more concentrated with a higher specific gravity, and their charging voltage is lower making them more vulnerable to damage from automotive or general purpose chargers. Aircraft batteries are also expensive. Their market size is relatively small, limiting savings from economy of scale, and their costs include significant burdens of certification, regulatory compliance, and aviation product liability. FAA regulations require that the airworthiness of batteries be periodically tested to demonstrate at least 85 percent of capacity for return to service. A battery with capacity below 85 percent may appear functional in ideal conditions but will lack capacity for extended cranking or adequate reserves for emergency airframe power. Like our muscles, batteries perform best when used often but suffer from inactivity. All lead-acid batteries gradually self-discharge during storage, even with no electrical load. Think of it like a bucket of electrical energy with a tiny leak. The self-discharging process is slow, but begins as soon as the charging voltage is removed. Bear in mind that the rate of self-discharge doubles for every 10 degree rise in temperature. So extended, unattended hangar storage presents the ideal conditions for decline in battery condition from inactivity. Whenever a battery discharges, lead sulfate precipitates out of the chemical reaction of lead and sulfuric acid. Theoretically, the lead sulfate is converted back as the battery is recharged. But if left in a discharged state, the sulfate will form crystals on the battery storage plates. These sulfate crystals are non-conductive so as they grow and increasingly cover the plates, they impede the necessary electrochemical reactions required for charge-discharge cycles. Sulfation coverage reduces the surface area available for chemical reaction, which weakens the battery's output and prevents the battery from fully recharging. The results of sulfation from inactivity and unattended hangar storage is that approximately 85 percent of lead-acid batteries fail prematurely. Obviously, the solution to extend battery life is to provide full-time maintenance charging and simultaneously reverse the process of sulfation. Ideally, whenever your aircraft is not flying, it should be connected to a maintenance charger. The longer a charger is connected to a battery, the more important the charging voltage is exactly correct. Having a charger connected for days, weeks, or even months requires precise voltage regulation to maintain the battery fully charged, yet without risk of overcharging damage. But the proper charging voltage varies with temperature. Lower voltage is required as the ambient temperature rises, and higher charge voltage as the temperature decreases. So to maintain a battery fully charged without overcharging requires ambient temperature sensing and continuous voltage regulation to compensate for temperature changes. This is why conventional fixed voltage chargers are never suitable for long-term maintenance charging. They will overcharge when ambient temperature is hotter and undercharge when colder. In summary, the essential requirements for an aviation maintenance or float charger are first, it must be aviation specific with charging voltages and rates that are tuned to the unique characteristics of aircraft batteries to prevent damage. Second, it must provide automatic full-time operation that is designed for continuous unattended operation with automatic condition test and restart after a power failure. Third, it must be able to adjust its charging voltages in response to ambient temperature changes to avoid over or under charging. And fourth, it must employ an effective means of dissolving accumulations of lead sulfate back into the electrolyte to preserve or restore lost battery capacity. 
One product offers all of these features. Our recommendation is the aviation specific models of the Battery Minder by VDC Electronics. This microprocessor controlled smart charger is designed specifically for the unique charging requirements of lead acid aviation batteries. At less than $200, it will pay for itself in extended battery life. It features an ambient temperature sensor to automatically regulate the charging voltage to ensure your battery is never over or undercharged regardless of temperature extremes. Its patented low voltage pulse technology safely dissolves power robbing sulfation. Most weak batteries can be reconditioned over time. And worry free plug and run automatic operation means nothing to do but plug it up and go. Finally, the battery minder comes with a five year no hassle manufacturer's warranty. Independent comparative testing by the Aviation Consumer Magazine ranked the battery minder as the very best maintenance charger available. And Concord Battery recently named the Aviation Battery Minder as the only maintenance charger approved for use with their sealed RG series aircraft batteries. For more details and downloadable resources, visit our website at audioauthority.com aviation or give us a call at 800-32-AUDIO.